Good morning. Um, happy Friday, everybody. Um, today's video is going to be another Azure haul, but it's it's not my newest haul. It is stuff that I've been collecting and trying to get together uh, my medicinal uh, pantry for Ed and I and my family. And so I thought you'd like to see what I've collected so far um, from Azure, Azure Standard, and their you know their brand, and then. Um, I think it's Star West Botanicals and Oregon, something Oregon, I can't remember. But I thought you'd like to see what I've got so far because I'm going to start doing some tinctures and um, medicinal, you know, medicine for our for our pantry um, just in case. So stay tuned. Okay, here we go. This is the some of the medicinal dried herbs that I have collected, I've been collecting from Azure Standard um, for a few months now. And some... I'll show you in jars here in a minute that I have grown myself and and some are just stuff from Azure too. But the first thing that we have here, let's see if I can, these bags are really shiny so I hope it's not like blinding people, is alfalfa leaf. I have the wild harvest which is the Oregon one and most of these are a pound, pound bags and alfalfa leaf from um, Azure Standard. Now the alfalfa leaf is good for like menstrual cramps, arthritis, uh, it's good for high cholesterol. Now, I'm not an expert, I'm just learning, so I'm just kind of giving you a few points that I've looked up and researched a little bit, and so um, just, you know, bear with me on that. And then the next one is lavender. Of course, we all know lavender is good for in baked goods, uh, teas, which alfalfa you can use for teas too, but um, lavender is good for teas, uh, for calming, calming you down like if you've ever had essential oil lavender and you've smelled it at night or put it in your diffuser it's a very relaxing uh, fragrance for your nervous system and also good for teas okay the next one we have is nettle nettle leaf which is also good for teas it's good it's an antioxidant uh, may lower your blood pressure from what I'm, I'm researching and finding out so there's another one and then we have oat straw, which is for strengthening your nervous system. And it's supposed to improve your brain health and reduce your stress. And I'm, you can put this in teas. Most of these herbs, I believe you can put in teas uh, in one way or another. Um, some might be just topical. We'll, we'll, we'll find out here in a minute. Okay, the next one over here is hibiscus petals. It's so beautiful. I have some in a jar I'll show you. But of course for teas, uh, high energy levels, and you can blend it with other herbs to make, you know, to make teas. Okay, now we're going to travel back down this way. And this is rose hips. Uh, teas, obviously for making any kind of tea, blend it with other herbs. It's really high in vitamin C. So there's that one. And that's also an Azure one. And most of these are organic. Which is great. And then we have rose hips. Oh no, that's chicory root. Hold on a minute. Oh, I just did the rose hips. Sorry. <laughs> now we have chicory root. If I can focus on. I'm trying to hold this and read my points that I've written down. Uh, chicory root is good for loss of appetite, uh, constipation, liver and gallbladder disorders. And I believe you can actually use it in place of coffee, like your chicory root root you would like you know um, boil it to make coffee like a coffee flavored drink okay and then down here we have elderberry which everyone knows should know what elderberry is uh teas making syrups for you know your common colds and and coughs and stuff like that and it's high in antioxidants uh it's great for inflammation and lowering your stress levels and i have more in a jar over here i'll show you but um I just got finished making some elderberry tea, so I, I'm going to make some more. Uh, I actually made it for my daughter-in-law. So now we have ashwagandha got covered up. Ashwagandha root powder. Now they didn't have the root on Azure, so I just got the powder. And it's supposed to increase your muscle strength, sharpens your focus and memory, and supports your heart for heart health. So, And I believe you can maybe put this in teas because it is a powder. But I'll have to do more research on that. And then, of course, we have down here. We have basil. Everyone knows what basil is. Um, I've grown my own basil, which I have some 
uh, dehydrated and freeze dried out there in my in my pantry. Um, but I thought I would stock up on some more, and it's it's good for cooking and teas. It's good for inflammation. It's high in antioxidant. So love basil. And we're gonna come back this way, and we have echinacea. I'm gonna hold this up here. Echinacea, which is your you know your cone flowers. If you, I'm sure you've probably grown them in your garden. I tried this year for some reason. I just didn't do anything. So, but echinacea. Is good for you know it's high antioxidants, supports your immune system, and support which and supports your uh, immune system, but it also re helps reduce uh, like your, you have a cold, a common cold or something, so it's good for that. And then we have peppermint, which everyone knows what peppermint for teas. Um, you it's great for your headaches, common colds, and if you have indigestion, they suggest peppermint, uh, which. I have done that before and it really does help me, you know, with indigestion problems. And then here we have dandelion root, which everyone has dandelions usually growing in their yard in the summer. And I've actually uh, picked some and freeze dried some, but I don't have enough. So I had to, I'm supplementing with, with azures. And of course you can make dandelion tea. You could, it supports your uh, liver and kidneys. It promotes digestion. Uh, health and urinary health and you can make a tea with it obviously um, blended with other herbs uh, but it's a cl very good cleansing uh, cleansing root and then here we have our burdock root it's kind of a glare burdock root now I haven't used any of this yet but uh, it's good for skin issues uh, pain relief liver support and gut health okay now we're gonna move down over here, let's see, we have, let me get my, some of the stuff I've put in jars just to have. This is uh, comfrey, organic comfrey, and comfrey is good for, uh, reduces your inflammation. You can make ointments with it, which you can use on bruises, pulled muscles, um, you know, strained muscles, and there's a lot more, I'm sure, that I'm not, you know, I'm just kind of hitting some fine points. On some of this stuff okay the next one is the purple dead nettle which I actually it grows in my yard every year and I freeze dried I think it was freeze dried yeah this one is freeze dried so I just picked them and threw them in my freeze dryer which you can dehydrate them too but purple dead nettle is good it's an antifungal it's good for inflammation. Uh, you can use the leaves as a poultice, like if you have a, a small wound or something, a cut. You could actually chew the leaves up and put the leaves as a poultice, and you can make uh, purple dead nettle tea. So I thought that was kind of interesting. Okay, the next one is calendula, which everybody loves calendula. Now, these were flowers that I grew. I just went ahead and picked the whole thing. I know you just use the the leaves and stuff, but I just threw those in there because I'm going to do a, like an infusion and make some salves. I think I'm going to have to get some more from Azure, but I freeze dried those in calendula. Like I said, it's good for, you can put it in teas, make salve with it. It's good for, like with the salve for dermatitis, uh, it's antifungal and antimicrobial, which is what, you know, your salves are good for. Okay, the next one. The toothache plant, or Spilanthus is how it's pronounced. Now these I grew. I didn't get very many, um, only because I just procrastinated and then it was kind of too late. So, But they're, they're kind of interesting, like in their little yellow balls. And um, it's actually good for, that's why they call it the toothache plant. It's a natural anesthetic. So if you have a sore gum or a toothache, you're supposed to take that little yellow ball and rub it on your gums and it will it will actually numb it. So now I haven't tried that yet, but that's what that's what's said about it. So I thought that was kind of fun. Okay, the next one is marshmallow. This is the marshmallow root and it's all, you know, it's ground up. This is how I bought it from Azure. And it's good for your respiratory system, digestive system, and skin health. So you can you know, make teas with it, put it, like, make a blend with it, and, um, 
it's antibacterial and it's also rich in antioxidants. So, you know, God put all these herbs here for a reason. He put all these plants here for a reason. And I'm, I'm really, really researching and being so interested in making my own medicine. And then the last one, as far as, uh, is ginger root. Now, I've bought organic ginger root from Azure, and I, you know, washed it really good. And I didn't peel it. I just sliced it up, and then I freeze-dried it, which you could also dehydrate it. But it's good for, you know, throw into your tea. I love ginger. It's probably one of my favorites. And it's good for inflammation, uh, anti-nausea if you're nauseated. Um, make a tea with it. And it's good for arthritis, from what they say. So, all right. So now I'm going to show you. Of course, let's see here. This is a, I've got these big gallon jars from Azure also. And this is my big jar of elderberries. And I, of course, I got the bag sitting on here, and I've got more on my order. I don't want to run out of that. Uh, this is basil. We've already seen that. And then uh, more peppermint leaf. And alfalfa and then this is the hibiscus uh, flowers which are gorgeous so let's see if I can get this open hold on a second but that's what they look like so pretty so and beautiful for teas and different things I left the instructions in there so that's all that I have so far um, as far as from Azure and stuff I do have other things that I like uh, different basils and different herbs that I have grown and, and dehydrated and freeze dried them and there but it's just too many to bring in here so I hope you enjoyed the video um, give it a thumbs up and a like if you haven't already subscribed please subscribe and stay tuned because I'm going to start doing some herbal medicine um, I'll probably start out with my elderberry syrup because I that's kind of like the most uh, common, I believe, that people do. Um, and it's pretty easy. And uh, then we'll, we'll go from there. But I'm really excited about this. Um, I really think that we should start focusing on making our own medicines as much as we can. You know, for common colds and, and sore, sore muscles and all that kind of stuff for our immune system. Because... I don't know, the way this world is going, um, it definitely, definitely uh, has put a fire, fire in my belly to really um, start taking care of myself, my husband, my family. Uh, so, I thank you for watching. Uh, God bless everyone, and uh, I will see you in my next video.